these dials. How cool are these? I love this starting sequence that they do. And then when they illuminate, they're just so bright and really clear as well. And I think the uh, colour scheme, the red and the white, just makes it feel like a performance product. Also like how when the fuel is low, the uh, ring around the gauge flashes at you along with the light. And also how there is the legacy script in the dial illuminated as well. I think that's really cool. And then when you turn the car off, oh, look how the red rings stay on and fade. That is just so cool. Just adds a bit of theatre to the car. This car has pillarless doors. Look how cool they are. You know, you, it's really on trend right now with all these coupe-esque SUVs and estate cars and shooting brakes and all that. But look, this is a humble estate car with pillarless doors out front and back. Look at that. Fantastic. That is so cool. This was the last legacy to actually have this, but previous generations used to have pillarless doors as well. I really like this glass roof. It's really big and it's in two parts and opens with one touch. The first part opens as a deflector and the second part disappears into the roof. And because the roof is so tall, you actually have quite a lot of headroom still. I think it's a really nice touch that. It's an estate car. Of course it's practical. This is a really well thought out estate car. So you have a massive boot and no low lift and it's nice stuff right here. Retractable parcel shelf like that. You've also got underfloor storage and the spare wheel is under that. You've got cubbies in the side. You've got like fold out hooks on the side here in the roof. You've got tether points in the roof. You've got your own boot lights. And then when you fold the seats, they fold flat because you can see I'm missing a, a bit of trim there. But the seat that will stay on the bolsters here, they don't get caught up in the seats when you fold them. So it's just really well thought out and you've got hooks and stuff as well to mount and tether of things too. You may notice the car is a bit battered and bruised in places and that's because it's an old unmarked police car. That was its first life. I'm the third owner and it's missing under trays. It had holes drilled all over the dash and wiring everywhere and I got it and I've removed all that but it's still looking pretty tatty. It's got 178,000 miles on the clock as well. So it's had a bit of a life. One of the engine in this thing, particularly at low revs, flat six is just so distinctive. Even though the engine feels really smooth, it sounds like almost like it's running on like sand or gravel. It's got sort of quite a coarseness to it. 